Okay, today we're going to go over how to add a cut line around a graphic and then use the contour tool to get it offset from the edge of the graphic, leaving a smoother area around it, making it much, much easier for weeding. So we've got this graphic in front of us, the Duncan Bears football, and as you can see, the lettering at the bottom there is going to be a little bit hard to weed, especially if the design was small. Now, if this was a full back on this, it would be fairly easy to work with. Those letters would be large enough that it wouldn't interfere with anything. But if it's a left chest logo at this point, we would have a better time of either encapsulating it into an oval or some other design or doing the cut line around it and then creating a contour out so that it kind of blends together. So first, this, this whole graphic is one piece, so I'm going to right click on it and ungroup. And I'm going to get rid of the lower portion because I don't need that for what I'm working on right here. I'll select my upper portion by drawing the marquee tool around it. Or I could have hit Control and A, which if I click on that now, you can I see it got into edit mode. But if I had not selected anything and hit Control A, it selects everything. Now I'll group that and I like to put it in the center of the page and by hitting P. And then I'll hit F4 so it brings everything up full screen so I can see it very well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup this at this point so that I have a whole bunch of different curves and, and objects in there. You can see my, my layer of curves over here opened up and each one's its own separate object. If I didn't have that, I'll hit Control u or sorry, Control g to group it. You notice that all my trim and weld functions up at the top here went away. So we, we can't use the tool that I want if they're all grouped together. So again, I'll hit Control u to ungroup it. I've got all the different layers and all the, the different curves there. And now in my trim and weld functions, I have this one that I come to all the time on the end, which is create a boundary that uh, creates a new object that surrounds the selected objects. When I click on that one, it'll take it a second to calculate it, and you can see the line it created around everything. I'll zoom out a little bit, and we'll move that to the side so you can see it. And there's the line that it created, and it's, it's what we're looking to do. It didn't fill the insides, and it's all separate objects around here down at football. So I'm going to hit Control Z and put that back. So we're not quite done yet. Remember, we wanted to contour out so that we could get something that kind of fits all together. What I'll do now is I'll go over to my contour tool, which is in this section right here, and there's a little arrow there. And we'll click on that, and it'll pop out, and it has that contour tool. When the contour comes, tool comes out, we've got a couple of options. I've got to the center here inside contour there and then outside contour right there. I can tell it how many steps I want it to take and how how far offset from the main object we want it to. So let's start with the defaults I have right there. I'll click on the outside contour and I'll see what that comes up with. That's not too terrible bad but I think that's a little too far out for what we're trying to do so we need to step this down a bit. So we can click this down in increments and I can see how it goes down and gets to the point where I'm happy with the results. And I want to see that get close to the inside of that football and I'll, I'll delete some nodes myself to, to make it a little smoother there. See here where I'm getting it offset a little bit and the bears is, is too far offset so we'll increase that again. Oops, I hit the wrong button. I hit contour step so I'll take that back down to one and I'll go up in height. I want that bears to touch the Duncan up there. There we go and we'll break all this apart and get rid of little pieces parts around there and here and there. So now I've got my contour set right there. I want to right click on it and break contour group apart. You could also use the control K keyboard shortcut that'll make things a lot faster for you. So once I've broken it apart, I'll go back to my select tool, my pick tool. And this is a separate object from the line that was rounded. If I move that to the side, I can see it's a separate separate object and I'll put it back and I want to take that line that was there. I'll click on that line that we had that we initially created the object that surrounded the objects. I'm going to delete that. I don't need that anymore. Now with the bears portion here with the, the whole outline around it, I want to get rid of like all these little nodes in here because if I was printing and cutting it, that wouldn't do very well for me. So I can select it, go to my shape tool, and now I can zoom in and I can kind of draw around all those nodes there, draw a marquee to select all those nodes, and simply hit delete. Um, this inside portion here, I don't need this, so I'll delete that. Those little nodes right there, I can get rid of them. These ones here, I can smooth this out by getting rid of that there. And let's see what happens when we do that one. 
and I could make this a little rounded in there if I wanted to or leave it sharp. This point down here uh, doesn't make much sense to me. Get rid of that one. We'll hit F4 to see everything. I've got a whole bunch of points in here that are going to make a mess for me. So we'll do an anchor node, which I'll double click on the line right there, and you'll see it added a node, and I'll do an anchor node right here and double click on the line. And then I'll select all these ones right here and just delete them. And you see how this kind of went around like that? When I, It's because it's still a curve. If I right click on it, it shows that it's, it's grayed out for the two curve option. So what I'll do is I'll make it into a line, and now it'll go straight in between those two like I want it to. So I'm happy with that. I'll get rid of this node there. Maybe get rid of a couple of these right here. See if I can make that a little bit nicer. And see all these nodes here, they're not really doing much for me, so I can delete all those. And remember, if I, if I kind of go crazy with the delete on a node, uh, a bunch of nodes, I can always go back and hit Control Z and put them back. Say I take this one out and it changes. I, I, that did a nice job, actually. I'm happy with the results there. But if I ever had one that I wasn't happy with the results, I could hit Control Z and it would go back to where it was. So let's let's address this down here. It's a little bit off. That's not bad now. What I'm trying to do is also making sure that it's more rounded than sharp corners. Every time I have a sharp corner like this back here, it's actually going to hit the blade when it cuts and yank it back the other way. Whereas here, it's a smooth, nice cut and it makes it very easy to weed and it less problems with the media. So this one here, we'll get rid of these and see if that smooths out. This one, oh, that one didn't smooth out. And you can see it's a straight line across. So now I can right click on that one and I can change it to a curve. When I change it to a curve and pull this down, now it smooths out right there and that's what I wanted. So let's get rid of some of these. That's not bad. And we'll move it over a little bit and see how we're doing on this side. I went too far. So we can always hit F4 and bring everything back up in. Now these interior portions, I can get rid of these all together. I don't need those. And I want this much easier to work with. Um, the, the one up here, I might leave that one because it's a big enough area and it kind of emphasizes on the swoosh. This whole portion down here for football, I'm going to get rid of all those. And now it made a nice smooth line across the bottom. I might adjust it a little bit. It doesn't look like it's quite even. So I can adjust it with the, the arrows here and make it a little bit more even and spread it across. That looks better to me. We'll get rid of some of these guys here and here. That's a little smoother along that. I like the sharp corners in this because it emphasizes around the lettering there and there. These points right here, I probably don't need to come back in right there. So what I'll do is I'll make a point right there. And I'll delete those two and then I'll right click on this line and make it to a line and now it's it's flat and I'll right click on this one and make that to a line so we've got a, a much more concise and it, it looks like it should be there along with it the only thing maybe it would have curved better with the line right there but I'm, I'm still happy with the results so let's get rid of some of these nodes and see how that's looking we've got these these choppy nodes right here around the hair but I'd prefer to have it curved. That's going to make it much easier to work with, especially on that small left chest logo that we're going to be creating. Now this line here is a curve. So let's see if we can't smooth that out a little bit there. That's better. I'll hit F4 to see where it's at. Now where I'm at, I could do straight across on the bears. I think that'd look a little bit better there. So let's try this. Delete that. Much nicer, much nicer. And these, uh, this drop down in here, I really don't need that. So we'll add a node right there, delete these two. Now see it curved again right there, so we'll right click and two line, and now it's straight across. Hit F4 to zoom back out, and we can probably kind of make this go straight across right there, and these two nodes right there can go away. So let's get rid of some of these, zoom in on this, and we'll make an anchor node by double clicking. Let's, let's center that in the screen a little bit more so you can see it. We'll anchor there. We'll get rid of these guys here, right click on this one and make it to a line, and that's much better. So we'll look at it when it's all finished here, and we've got a good cut line around it. I could smooth or change some of this here to make it a little bit easier because that is a, a, a area that it's going to have an interesting time cutting. So we'll delete some of these and see if I can, let's right click and make that to a line and see how that works. Not bad, get rid of a couple of those. And I'm very pleased with the results. Now I've got 
an entire job here that's got a good cut line around it. It's very easy to weed. It contains everything in there, and that would work well for a left chest logo. Again, you can play with your spacing using that contour tool on how far in or how far out you want it to be and set it up however it works for you and the customer. So hopefully this has been helpful. I'm Stephen Jackson with MyVersaCam.com and Printables Warehouse. You can reach me on the web via Twitter at StephenJacksonIW. My YouTube channel is StephenJacksonIW. And of course, you can always reach me via email at Stephen, S-T-E-V-E-N, at imprintables.com. Or you can reach me at my desk phone at 518-630-6655. Hopefully this was helpful, and we'll see you back here again. Thanks for stopping by.